Hello everyone and welcome to another Conan Exiles video. I'm Exiled Phoenix, and today I'm going to go over the changes in the new Chapter 4 update of Age of War in Conan Exiles. So I don't usually make it a point to be negative, but this update really leaves much to be desired. From changes to the inventory system that literally nobody asked for, to a whole plethora of new bugs, this video will cover most of the new features. Now I have no doubt that some of this will be fixed, but if Funcom does end up seeing this, at least they'll have a PvPer's perspective and opinions. So I'll start off with the new features and how I think they need tweaked, if applicable, and toward the end I'll go over the bugs I've found. First of all, we have the new hunt event. This event definitely has some cool stuff to purchase, from a new armor set with one piece having agility damage plus 16%, to some nice looking furnishings like the Lemurian Brazier, and also two new pets. But, once you try the event, you'll see it takes an absolute boatload of grinding to actually unlock these recipes. For instance, the armor recipe costs 1,000 of the fangs, and with the cost of the lures being so high, combined with how many you'll need to do this event, you have to kill literally dozens of bosses to unlock just this one recipe. And even getting the initial fangs to start is tedious because you'll have to be out at night to get the were werewolf to spawn. Only one werewolf spawns per night, and the nights are only like 4 minutes long right now for some reason, but days are like 25 plus. And then each werewolf only drops 2-4 to four fangs, and you might get lucky and get a couple more from the pouch it drops, but that's pretty rare. You'll need 10 fangs just to purchase the first lure. This event probably would not be doable for most PvP players, but if you're staying on a PvP server for a long time, you could get it done. But it does take days to actually grind out these recipes. For PvEers, the event would be good and it'll keep players busy for a long time. The grind could be worth it on servers where you'll actually be able to keep things forever. I might also add that bosses in this event drop no XP. Now we will go over the inventory changes. So now to give all, instead of hitting R1 and X like before, you now have to hit L2, which actually doesn't even tell you on this screen what the give all command is. But if you hit L2, it'll quick stack everything, which you don't even need to do. But then the second time you hit it, it'll actually give all. And then if you want to take all from something, you now also have to hit L2 while in that inventory. The reason why they changed this is because they wanted to add this feature where you can now drop stuff straight out of a container by pushing triangle. So as you can see, I'm looking in the vault and I'm dropping stuff straight out of the vault. Now I can't think of a single scenario where you would actually need to do this. Uh, I just can't think of a single one, honestly. Like maybe if you're looting a loot chest somewhere in the world in a PvE server and you want to make sure that it respawns for the next guy, you could, I guess, drop everything out of it onto the ground, but you don't even need to do that. The way that Conan Exiles works is that if you even take one item out of the chest, and I believe even if you open the chest at all, it will respawn its loot table a half hour later. So there's literally no reason I can think of where you would need to drop items out of a container straight onto the ground. Like, you know, just pick up the items and move it like you always used to. Like, you could just pick up the items and drop them out of your own inventory and be absolutely fine. The real issue with changing loot all from triangle to L2 is that in PvP this is going to be especially bad because everyone who's used to hitting triangle to grab someone's kit after they kill them is now going to have to hit L2, which if you know anything about playing on console is a very different button than triangle. It's not only on the other side of the controller, it's a completely different finger that you have to use to hit it. So it's just a very different button and it's a very awkward button for a take all. But I suppose in a way it could be better because you can actually aim without having to take your right thumb off the analog stick now. So you might be able to, you know, L2 someone's kit a little bit easier than triangle used to be. But you need to be able to grab those kits fast and the button change is not going to help anyone. Now one issue I have had is that if I had a katana out and I tried to L2 a body before the loot was showing up on it, I would end up in my katana's charge pose which would leave me in a very vulnerable state, and it would actually lock me in that position even though I was no longer holding the L2, and I would have to click L2 again to get out of it. And that can leave you in a very vulnerable position if you start hitting your special attack command when you're trying to get someone's kit. Now, it used to be that when sorted by heaviest first, you could just drop these items repeatedly, but now you just drop one, and it gets locked up. Now I have to move right and back left to drop another one, and repeat. 
basically, yeah, that kind of messes things up because that's going to take me a while to get used to. I used to sort my inventory by heaviest first while in PvP because if I triangled someone's kit and I was over encumbered, I could just go right in here, my cursor would be right there, and I could just start hitting triangle and it would drop the heaviest item. Usually I'd only have to drop like one thing, but yeah, that would save me taking quite a bit of damage in combat. But now you can't drop more than one item before it freezes up, which is unfortunate. And even if I go over here, let's say I want to drop like 10 items, I go down here. Now before, when sorted by heaviest first, my cursor would just stay in the same spot and everything would slide left into place and I could still drop. Same thing with R2-ing anything into a container, but now the cursor moves left like it does, or like it used to when it was sorted by custom. But if I drop things too fast, if there's any latency on the server, it'll actually freeze up too, just because I'm dropping like that. But that may just be due to latency, of course, because it's not doing it on single player right now. So basically now the only function of R1 is to split a stack. It splits it exactly in half. There is no longer a precision split where you can just pick how many you want to split. However, it is actually quite easy to split something down to just one. So if I, um, let me put everything in here. Let me just grab one stack of black ice. If I start splitting this and I just repeatedly hit the R1 button, it'll split until I have just one. But Funcom did say they are going to re-add the precision stacking, so you won't have to go through that process anyway. So now that L2 covers the take all and give all function, you might be wondering, what do you do to turn on your furnace now? Well, now it's hold L2. So let me know in the comments below how many times you've emptied your furnace trying to turn it on. So bearers have been absolutely nerfed into the ground. This is a level 10, and here are the perks that she has. I think she had like 5,000 plus HP before, and now she's only got 2154. Now Funcom did say they were going to revert this, at least for now, so at least they won't take a hit for a while. Thrall placement mechanics on official servers has been changed to where you can place thralls as close to any other thrall as you want to. Speaking of thralls, they will sometimes run right off a cliff, and they take fall damage now. Don't see any reason why this would be intended, but either way it needs to be fixed. Bosses and chests in Unnamed City and Warmaker, at least, are dropping good amounts of perfected paddings now. I've noticed some other random chests containing monster eggs that you could not get before. Prior to the update, in taverns, you could only have three hireable thralls in your tavern at one time, and now it's been up to, I think, six, it appears. I did some messing around with the Purge at level 10, and some of the new NPCs and such are pretty cool, like the thieves that are invisible until they pick up your treasure, but after running the Purge four times, I still haven't seen a star caller. And yes, I did have to open up my Purge base just like this to get a Purge to even start. At this Purge level, there's just a non-stop wave of enemies. Now, I did have 26 arena champions, and half of them were completely decked out with armor, and all of them had momentums and food, and we still suffered some losses. So. I would be scared to actually try this at my real base at all. I've not spent any time testing the ballistas, but apparently they can two-shot gods except for Jebel and Durketo, so I'll have to test that and see if they have fixed those two yet. Either way, I think this is a pretty awesome addition to the game. They have added fatalities to the game. Now this is a pretty interesting feature because you can essentially do this to an enemy even if you just have stone weapons but it only happens when they get down to one shot anyway. So it doesn't really make your life any easier. It's more of a visually cool thing than anything else in my opinion. And it's actually kind of bad in some cases because you can get stuck in that animation while other enemies are still wailing on you and you can't get out of it. The other thing is in instances where you would have just one shot the enemy, it leaves them with one HP, just leaving another obstacle in your path. So yeah, you can finish that. But you can get stuck in this animation, like there I was trying to spam roll, and I could not get out of that an animation. So you could get mobbed by other enemies while you're in that animation. And it's literally kind of pointless, because you would have just one-shot that enemy had it not been for the execution. Again, trying to spam circle to get out of it, and could not get out of it. So being that it only happens when they're one-shot anyway, I, I'm kind of confused as to what the point is. It would be cool if there was a chance for it to happen with any hit, even if you're using stone weapons and they're on like 75% HP still. If you could instantly finish them, that would make an easier way to kill enemies and thus make it a little bit more viable. So rolling thrust has been nerfed. Now no longer does it give you a free hit, 
but it does still give you the armor pen. So in PvP, I think the double jump is going to be the new meta for sure. And also having some additional stamina will be nice as well. Farming rates on PvP servers has been reduced from 4x down to 2x, and from 2x down to 1x on PvC servers. Crystals can no longer be mined with tools, they need to be picked up one at a time, or you need to use the sorcery to get them. Now I'm curious to see if the sorcery actually gives disproportionately large amounts of crystals, or if they've nerfed that down as well. Okay, so I actually ended up hopping onto my official testing server because apparently you can't unlock the sorcery in the admin panel. So, here I am, I know I have the sorcery on this server, so I am going to try to see how much we get from casting this. Oh, and I lost connection. Nice one. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but I did crash. And now I've got one of these guys attacking me. I can't even get out my weapon. This is just really cool. Come on, game. There we go. Alright, we got like 12,332 crystals, which is, in my opinion, is way more than we would have gotten by picking each one of those one at a time. So apparently when they changed it so that you only get one crystal at a time from picking them up, they didn't really nerf the sorcery at all. Which I guess is good because now this is the only way you're going to get a decent amount of crystals, period. But it's also kind of dumb that they even changed this in the first place because it's going to make it really difficult to get crystals, eggs, um, mushrooms, basically anything that you have to pick up. At this point, your ability to farm a number of bombs is basically going to be determined by how far along you are on sorcery, which is not exactly fair, but it will stop people from farming bombs quite so fast. Alright, now for the rest of the bugs. Now obviously I went over like the thralls eating themselves off of cliffs and taking fall damage. Um, the one currently on the screen is I put a pick in this chest and it disappeared. Um, and then we've got other issues where you put items into a chest if there's already a stack of that item in the chest and the stack in the chest might not be showing up and then it appears that you've lost all of your stacks of items. Um, and then we've got this phasing through walls bug. Now I know exactly what's causing this but I don't want to put it in a public video. Um, but hopefully they fix this soon as well. Among the other bugs, um, Hotbar is not showing the description of items when you look at them. I noticed my character portrait was sometimes merging with the thrall portrait when the thrall is accessed. Sometimes my character portrait does not show transmogged armor after it was removed. Um, can't read all the text in the crafting description of the Melodorous Grand Champion lure. Looting my corpse did not return my gear to the correct slots at one point. Um, bosses from the event give no XP, we already went over that one. And there's a glitch where the stove is now decaying some of your food when you hit craft all. Also, after I got the Bestial Regalia recipe, the non-epic version of that armor was not showing up on the armor bench. But that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and you might also enjoy this video that goes into a deep dive on Thrall Stats. I'll link it here at the end on the left. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!